I'm a Virgo. I was just born in the moment when Leo turns into Virgo. And I always thought that I'm a little bit of a Leo because of that. I am Pisces. Aries comes after that. But I don't feel like I am much of an Aries. When I went to look at Sagittarius, their fire signs are Aries, but also Leo, which is what I thought Amy is because May Alcott was Leo. Oh, I love that. So it sort of makes sense to me why the two of them butt heads. That makes a lot of sense. Also why both Joe and Amy get along with Meg and Beth, because May is a Pisces. She was born in February, if I remember correctly. Meg and Beth are water signs, and then Joe and Amy are fire signs. This explains everything in Little Woman. One of the things you never expected, obviously, is from this ranking, is the position of the Zodiac. I don't know if this is true. I have had quite a few people in the comments writing me that they think that Lori is a Gemini. Maybe. Gemini is an air sign and their moods can switch pretty fast. I remember reading one study on that and they had put him as an Aquarius and that is another air sign. It is funny that you say Gemini because when I looked up his birthday, it was around Aquarius between January and February. It makes sense in the terms of the relationships between the characters. He's definitely an air sign, them. One of the reasons I think he is Aquarius is when I read the personality for a man, it said rebellious, charismatic, and spontaneous. That sounds a lot like Lori. So I was like, okay, they also put on their good sights too. They are honest, loyal, and devoted. I think when you get past the more negative sides, he is extremely loyal. He stays loyal to Joe throughout the years, even if it does not become romantic. He is still friends with her. And there are times when I feel like he is pretty honest, too, with Amy. I think we need to make another episode about Zodiac signs in Little Woman. Yeah, some people are going to be like, Zodiac signs are nonsense, but they are people who believe or are interested, even if it is just for fun, who likes this kind of stuff. Yes, even if you don't believe in zodiac signs, they can be a lot of fun. It is one of those symbolism type of things. When you are writing a character, it can make a character make more sense 